So this is my 3D printer do it do it yourself board. Right now it's a bit of mess but things will get better. So at the heart of this it's an ESP32. This one. And I've just upgraded because this one is running Martin right now because Clipper does not support ASP32. So I just bought a Raspberry Pi Pico, as you can see, because this one is supported in Clipper. So, how is this one made? Just like this. I just solder two rows of these connectors and one row on each side. That are connected. And these ones are just this. See, they're like one, two, three, four dots exactly. So I just soldered two of these, two of these. Now we just plug this here. And then you connect. This one is made the same. See? Okay, so we have one row here with the steppers. Let me show you what's on the back of this. So we have the same. We have two sockets here where you plug the module of those this is the common ground it's common both to the 24 volts see the the, the high voltage comes from here the 12 or 24 here and these two this is the high voltage the plus that goes to each one and the minus connects here with the same from this is the from the micro then we have the same bridges okay so from every one of these we have the last wires here just go here they're just jumpers here I have one row of plus and one row of minus that comes from the micro the 3.3 volts and then from everyone goes to wire the first two wires are the step and drive they go to the microcontroller so we have two four six eight and then from the first one we have the enable pin this one as you can see these small wires is connected to all of them then we have Two more wires from here from the for the serial for the UART that's the same connected to all of them so basically just one capacitor for each and one resistor as you can see here for the UART for the serial and this is basically the stepper module board that connects here now I have this is for the probe. This one. So the probe is uh, high voltage. You need to use 5 to 36 volts. The more voltage you use, the better it works. So I'm using 24 volts. Um, basically the probe it's like this here is the probe it has a NPN transistor and this is the, the three wires that come out of the probe okay this ones so the brown is the positive you have to connect it to plus 24 or plus 12 the blue to minus and S is the signal so basically you we're gonna use an octo -cup coupler so we can connect it to the micro either it's 3.3 or 5 volts 
so we have the plus this is 12 or 24 with one kilo it gives uh, one or two milliamps for this diode when so basically when you put something metal close to this it will put a signal here it will open this transistor so this will become a circuit so the the power will, will flow it through this resistor through the lead back to ground so this one gets enabled that will open this transistor here so basically the this is a pull up trans resistor here so the micro will re register high voltage here but when this one opens when you bring something close to here it en enables this led that it will enable this one so this one will get low so it will change from high to low and that's basically how you connect them as you can see this is the 1k resistor going to the LED here this is the black one the signal these two are the from 24 I just use this one because it's very low voltage the low low current because the only current that comes through this 24 or 12 volts will be this two amps going through this and then here is this one is the plus and min minus the 3.3 volts and we have this 10k pull up resistor and the green one is the signal for the thermistors for the bed I'm using this module because it's already made and for the reading values the thermistors I'm just using this is very simple circuit just use a 4.7k resistor in series with the the thermistor and you read in the middle the signal one particular thing with this ESP32 is that these last pins here are just uh, input they have no output so be careful if you connect something uh, like the steppers like I did in the beginning to one of these it will not output a signal so you can use the last five here just for uh, reading like the thermistors or end stops this one is also an end stop so basically for a 3d printer we have the to run the steppers we have the driver module modules here that connect to this one and we have the end stops this one the special one with a high voltage and uh, can either use normal end stops or like this is software end stops but still a physical connection then we have the MOSFETs for driving the heaters this one for the bed this one needs these two uh, need to be connected uh, one is for the heater and one for driving a fan of course this one is pretty big for the fan but it's what I have and this is basically all the circuitry you need to run a 3D printer I just uh, I had an issue I had uh, some issues with the uh, bed leveling so I was using before an end stop here but uh, since I connected this one everything is much better I also ran, ran a calibration bed leveling so how I made this is I used two of these and I just connected here and I was wondering how to put this probe around here and then I found this solution because these nuts 
have a square side mm, a bit of focus okay um, you just put a zip tie between these nuts and this one is just to keep it and it stays very straight and fixed and then you can just screw it here to push it down or up of course this uh, needs a bit of trimming around here but once I'm done so next, next thing is to print this in PLA so I can get rid of this cardboard and uh, I'll keep you updated with this because I want to make this look much better if you're interested in seeing more how this evolves, please like and subscribe.